What is going on everybody? And once again, it is time for a Tech Check Tuesday. And once again, we're gonna be taking a look at the Mavic Air, more specifically the obstacle avoidance and the all new advanced pilot assistant system. DJI first introduced us to the obstacle avoidance system a couple years back with the Phantom 4, and it was only on the front end. But this allowed the drone to automatically sense objects in front of it and stop the drone before it ran into something. This worked out so well that eventually they've added it onto the Mavic Pro and even the lower end Spark. Last year, the Phantom 4 Pro included obstacle avoidance 360 degrees all around the drone and on the bottom. And the Mavic Air comes equipped with obstacle avoidance on the front, back, and bottom, but not on the sides. But it does come packed with an all new technology that DJI calls the Advanced Pilot Assisted System. Now, if you've flown any of the drones I've already mentioned, you're already really familiar with the obstacle avoidance system and what it does. So we'll just take a brief look at that, but then we'll really get down to business and take an in-depth look at this new APAS system what it does, what it doesn't do, what it can do, and what it can't do, and what you can expect while using it. I am here at my favorite UAV top secret testing facility that I lovingly call Area 69. And today we're taking a closer look at the Mavic Air's advanced crash avoidance system. So this all new APAS system, or APAS, sorry I had to use that graphic again, or advanced pilot assisted system can sense the object and detect while it's flying whether it needs to swerve to the left, the right, or over the object to clear it. So today we're going to be putting this sucker through the paces and see what she can really do. So we're going to try this thing out and I'm going to offer my body to science and fly towards myself and use the APAS system and have the drone decide what to do. Is it going to crash into me, or is it going to swerve around me? Let's find out. So the next question I have, does A-Pass work in reverse? Can I do the same thing while I'm backing up? Let's find out. Well, that seemed to work, even in reverse. Pretty impressive. Now, I want to test something that I know that the Mavic and the Phantom had a lot of trouble with, and that's objects that are kind of like maybe a chain link fence, where you could see through it, and it's not necessarily solid, but if you crash into it with your drone, you'd be in deep trouble. Same with like trees with a lot of tiny spindly branches. Let's see how this does with that. No way. Let's try that again. Right over the top. So awesome. So how about a tree with spindly branches like the one behind me? Oh, that got it. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, totally went around it. That was awesome. So we've proven this technology is pretty cool. With trees and things like that. Well, what about this big brick wall right behind me? Okay, so this new A-Pass system and obstacle avoidance on this thing's got me pretty impressed. But by now, you know that my motto is, if something's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So behind me is the forest of Mirkwood. See any elves? Well, anyway, it's a deep, dark, forested area. 
I'm gonna put the Mavic Air on active track and see if it can follow me through that dense dark forest. Here we go. Lost me. Well, the Mavic Air is an amazing piece of tech, and the new A-Pass system and obstacle avoidance system are pretty great too, and do an excellent job with the errant tree branch, or in case you get a little too close when you're doing a close pass to something. But if you're a hiker or something like that, don't expect to be able to stick it on auto follow and then go busting through the forest. That's not gonna happen. However, it is important to note that even with all of this, I have not had one single crash. I did brush a branch a little bit and put a chip in one of the props, but nothing catastrophic. So although it did seem like the Mavic Air got stuck quite a bit and lost tracking on me, it was actually able to dodge some of those bigger tree limbs and branches. But I could tell looking back at the footage of what would happen a lot of times is there would be an obstacle in front of it so it would rotate a little bit or back up a little bit and there was just too many obstacles all around it anywhere it turned it couldn't find a clear path so it would just stop. So the A-Pass system is going to do a great job of helping you dodge that occasional object if in case you get a little too close but don't expect to take it out backpacking or mountain biking in the woods. That's just not going to happen for you at this price point. And of course if you found any of this information useful please mash the thumbs up. If you like to see more of it hit that subscribe button. I got more videos coming all the time including more Mavic Air videos. And of course, thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. And I like hearing your comments too. If you got anything to say, let me know. We'll see you guys real soon.